What's happening, everybody? It's your girl, Vanity V. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. All right, y'all. The Love is Blind Season 5 reunion happened last night. And I still don't like Lydia. I don't care what type of magic trick she tries to pull on y'all. I still don't like that lady. And we'll get into why. Um, sorry, you guys. My, my face itching. So, first thoughts. It was a little eh. What y'all think? I mean, I think that the preview for the reunion was way more lit than the actual reunion. I mean, it was cool. There were moments that I really liked. But I would say overall... It's one of my least favorite reunions from the franchise. I mean, you guys chime in and tell me what you guys think. Getting right to it, your boy Uche wasn't there. I'm going to give you guys my, you know, perspective on why I believe he did not show up based on how everybody was acting and speaking about him tonight. But he wasn't there. So I thought that that was interesting. I just knew he was going to be there. He, You know, Uche think he's so fine. He loves the attention. You can tell he likes being on TV. Um, but he didn't show up. So, you know, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. So let's get into it. First of all, overall, everybody looked pretty good. You know, let's just start out with the first couples. We had Izzy and Stacy, and then we had, uh, Lydia and Milton. They look pretty good. I did not, I always, you know, regardless of how I feel about Lydia, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. I did not like her hair. I don't know who did her hair. I wasn't, I wasn't really here for the hair. I guess I got what she was trying to do. Um, just because, you know, the breast area of her dress was so nice and it was, it was beautiful. It was like a classic, classy black dress giving a little bit of Cleveland up in here. But I didn't like her hair. It looked, I don't know, it had a weird like hump on it. Milton was looking a little, he kind of was looking a little snackish, right? Milton's the MVP of the show. Um, I love, have loved his evolution. I love his maturity. He's the youngest one there and the most mature out of the group. I love his perspective. I love people that are logical and I have to give it to him. He's so logical. I think the part that probably frustrates Lydia and, you know, maybe they've gotten over this at this point, um, is that sometimes he's so logical that it's, it appears that he lacks emotion, but he's just really logical. He's matter of fact, like, get, let's get to the point. You know, I'm going to be very objective and he's very fair. And I like the way he speaks about situations and how he kind of breaks down you know, what he feels about it and how he comes to his conclusions. So I really love that about him. He was suited and booted. He had a, he didn't just go get a little suit from Men's Warehouse or Big and Tall. You could tell he had his suit tailor. He looked great. Um, you know, I liked Lydia's dress. I just didn't like her hair. Stacy looked beautiful. Um, and um, Izzy looked nice. I liked, you know, the little socks. It was cool. Um, I just don't like Izzy, y'all. <laughs> I just don't, him and, and Lydia are the two that I just, I cannot stand them. Um, and I don't know, I just, I don't, I, I, when, when I see that you kind of have shown who you are, it's like I can't really get past this, so I don't really see it for him. But nonetheless, we find out that, getting right to it, Milton and Lydia are still together. I'm surprised. Because I have been saying that, that people ain't together still. They're together still. We found out that um, Milton's mom and dad love her. His sister loves her. I will say this about Lydia, and I think that this is probably what draws her into people. She's very passionate. You know, you, she has that passion. She has the gift of gab. She makes everything sound good. She could probably say Mary had a little lamb. And the way she says it, you're like, damn, she really had the lamb. Like, she just makes you believe but how, however, when you're smart like me, I, I, don't, I still don't believe it. I don't believe it. And I, it's more because I don't like the way she treated my girl, Aaliyah. I don't like the way she conducted herself in the pods. And again, I just, she's got too many little red flags about her. But I get the passion. I, you know, I can objectively look at the situation enough to say, okay, well, you know, I see what people like about her. But I, I still don't believe it. Um, but 
apparently they filmed this show a year and a half ago i didn't know it was that long ago and they are still together they even had another wedding in puerto rico again she's doing she's very close with his mom she said then when he gets on her nerves she calls his mom and you know milton was like dang you know they 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 like tag team me now so i mean that's cute it's always good that when you have a good relationship with the in-laws so that's good i mean look if you're gonna be together do it it seems like they're doing it right they seem happy you know they sing each other's praises it seems like they're opposites that have attracted and have figured it out and i guess they love child so you know they're they're together switching gears to izzy and stacy no nah, they ain't together and what surprised me is they both said that after you know they they left each other or she left him at the altar she, obviously she didn't marry him that they they talked maybe a week after that and they never decided to really date let me ask you guys this given that fact do y'all think that it the, they're pretending and faking the funk like the love was real but i don't think the love was real because my thing is is that like well maybe it's her i actually think it's her i think that she's like he's whack <laughs> like because again he's he's a good looking guy he ain't even really that cute anymore when you when you really break down like his personality is not like his personality is just like oh so fun i mean he's he's good looking he got a nice body but then once you get past that to me there's not a lot of substance to izzy and you you got bad credit too like not you're bringing brad bad credit when my my credit is top you know top tier i have my own home I'm killing it. I'm teaching Pilates on the weekend outside of my regular job. My family still is lit. Like, what do you really bring to the table? And she was smart. That was the best thing that Stacy would have could have done. But anyway, so they um they never dated. She said that it was weird. It was awkward because like throughout the course of this past year and a half, she said they both kind of started dating somebody new. And then like she took her dude to a cooking class. She goes in there. Izzy's there with another girl. Like they would randomly meet each other at the bar, which is actually hilarious because Houston really is a big city. So it's funny that they just keep running into each other. I'm wondering if that's coincidental or not. But, you know, she said that they just, the chemistry, they just never could get back on track. Which, Stacy, that's, girl, you dodged a bullet. Izzy, womp, womp, you know, whatever. But, what I was gagging about is the fact that, so they bring Johnny and Chris out. We'll get to, to Johnny and Izzy in a second. They bring out Johnny and Chris, and, child, we find out, you know, remember, um... Throughout the course of the show, you know, when the when all the couples get together a couple times throughout the season, we found out Johnny and Chris were dating. They looked like, okay, you know, it didn't work. We didn't get married, but we're, we're dating. We're feeling, we're digging each other. After that one incident when everybody kind of ganged up on Johnny, after that, Johnny and Chris go home. Uh, Johnny said Chris went on a vacation or something and, and never called her back and started dating another girl. Whew. he played her and you know what i don't even know if i feel bad for johnny just based on like johnny was playing games too like johnny was you know she she dissed chris and then she was trying she really wanted izzy for real and then izzy played her for stacy did she you know we know what happened and she went back to chris and whatever and chris had the last laugh because chris said goodbye ma'am goodbye lady he went and got a whole girl another girl who he's with still and so I thought that that was interesting. Um, but the real gag of it is that we find out that her and Izzy kind of had a little thing. Like they maybe went out on a couple dates and, you know, they tried to see if it could work. It is just too much, child. It's too much intermingling for me. Um, and let me just say this. You know, Johnny's cute. She's a cute girl, but Johnny's she weak too. Like, I feel like Johnny needs to do some soul searching because she also, um, I don't want to say she's self-conscious or that she's insecure, but I don't, I think she needs to find herself a little bit more. She says, uh, uh, allegedly she's dating. Let me ask y'all a question. 
Don't you think, guys, y'all think some of them lying about dating somebody because just conveniently everybody has somebody now? I think some of them might not really have nobody, but they're like, oh, I'm not about to come on here and look crazy. Kristen has a whole new woman. I'm going to say I'm dating someone too. Y'all think Johnny really dating somebody? She quickly, because when Chris was like, oh, I'm happy. I live with her. I moved on. And she was like, well, I have two. I have a man too. I don't know if I believe all of them just miraculously have a man. Like, it's hard. To, like, we all know it's hard to find somebody, you know. And within a year, everybody just has somebody now. I don't believe it. But anyway, so she, I guess she has a, a man. She, her and Izzy tried it and it didn't work. I think it's funny, the dynamic between Stacy and Johnny. Okay, we know that in the pods, you know, like, um, you know, like Johnny was shading Stacy and trying to, you know, be funny because she really wanted Izzy. So she was like talking mess about, um, about Stacy. But do y'all think Stacy's taking it too far? I don't really think it's that deep. Maybe there's things that have happened outside of the show, but like she hates Johnny. And I just, I don't, I would have just been like, whatever. Like I got the dude, you moved. I don't know. I just seems like the disdain that Stacy has for Johnny is just like real extra. She put like extra sauce on it. Cause I just don't think that what Johnny did to her was that deep. So I'm curious to know, I mean, I don't know if we'll ever know, like, did something more happen? Because just the way that she speaks to that woman, I was gagging when when, when Stacy was reading Johnny's life, Johnny was over there talking to Chris, like, hey, so um, you trying to get McDonald's after this? Well, that was hilarious. Johnny is it was not listening to nothing that Stacy was saying, which I was living for that because I probably I'm shady, so I probably would have did that too. Like, girl, goodbye. Anyway, so what we go? We going to watch X Men after this, or what we doing? We go to the mall. Like Johnny was was paying her dust. Like girl, goodbye. So that that gave me a little cackle, and then it was funny. Um, what are the host name? Look, Nick Lachey's wife. What's her name? I forgot. She was like, so Johnny, what do you think about what um Stacy said? And J Stacy was lying. I mean, I kind of agree with what Stacy wasn't listening, or Johnny wasn't listening to nothing that Stacy said. So that was funny. Um, so yeah, again, Stacy's not with Izzy. Izzy tried to mess with Johnny, didn't work. Johnny and Chris didn't work. Chris got a whole living girlfriend that he's happy with, whatever. So Aaliyah comes out. I almost wish Aaliyah didn't show up to this reunion either. Um It was cringy. It, it it was cringy. Um she expressed herself how she felt. And what I will say about Aaliyah, Aaliyah is always like very respectful in how she approaches things and talks. And you know, she was just like, look, like I wish that I would have known about y'all because I would not have divulged everything to you, uh, Lydia. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't have gotten close to you. I wouldn't have allowed you to really even know my true feelings for Uche. Now, what I thought was also interesting is Nick Lachey said that once Lydia and Uche, they told the producers, like, look, we do know each other, that the producers were like, well, okay, y'all got to keep this under wraps. You cannot divulge this information to any of the other cast until you have both made legit connections then you can tell whoever you want um and you know then nick was like asking the cast like do y'all think that that was fair how the producers handled it and everybody was like yes you know whatever i don't think it was fair i think that once they knew it, it could it could potentially compromise the integrity of the show uche and lydia should have gotten a boot so Lydia was just like, basically like, or excuse me, um, Aaliyah was like, I wish I would have known because I just would not have told her everything. And I think that that's fair. I don't, I don't, I just don't like how that went down. I feel like Aaliyah was set up, you know what I'm saying? Not intentionally, but I just feel like the odds were not in her favor for any of this. And it's just, it's not fair. She's such a beautiful girl. And then she basically was just like, look, you know, 
you, I'm gonna need you to keep it real, Lydia, because you have told me stuff and you've also told other castmates that basically her and Uche both said to each other, they both knew about the casting for the show and they both said that they potentially might go for the casting. So I'm going to be honest, you guys, I think her and Uche both knew that they were going to go to the casting for the show and it just happened that they both got on the show. I think they both knew. I think they both knew each other got on the show. And you know what I don't like? Remember the scene where they, when they revealed how Lydia knew Uche? I didn't like that. This is how I really think it's phony. Y'all were dating on and off for years. Y'all both knew that y'all were trying out for the show. Why was Uche in the pods trying to act like he didn't know Lydia's voice? Remember that, you guys? She kept saying, oh, you don't know who I am? Oh, you don't know who I am. They both have very distinctive voices. Lydia has a very distinctive accent. Uche was front like he, it took a minute her to sass that like four times before he was like, Lydia? Y'all knew y'all was going. Y'all had just slept with each other three months ago. You probably had spoken to each other right before y'all went. I think they're both full of shit and I think that they both knew. And love is blind. Y'all got a problem because when, if y'all, people are going to keep doing this. You're going to have couples, this is the thing, this is the funny part. You're going to have actual real couples who are probably been, been together for two or three years, want to fake like, or and want clout, want to be known, maybe want a free wedding. And you're going to have couples that are going to go on these shows pretending that they're not together. They're going to match with each other and then date. It's going to happen. This is going to happen again. And that's why I think that Lydia and Uche should have got kicked out because once you let stuff like this ride, because nobody probably even really thought about this, but now when you have these castings in different cities, people are going to do this. Why would they not? I'm going to go on this show. We'll both get well-known. Look at the Hamiltons from season one. They are popping. Now, they're legitimately in love. I, they're adorable, but I'm just saying the potential for the, you know, the endorsements and their YouTube is, is doing well and they're living off of the the notoriety that they got from the show and people see that. So you're going to have people that are going to be trying to get on the show now just to do that and get famous. I would. I mean, my man would never go. I, I wouldn't go on the show either. My man definitely wouldn't. But I'm just saying, why not? So that is why I think that they should have, you know, I think Love is Blind has a whole different problem because how can you prove any of this at this point? You know what I mean? When you're casting, you're going to have couples that are really together in real life, try to get on the show and pretend like they're not together. And then this is going to continue to happen. That's just my opinion. So again, like I said, I think Uche and Lydia plotted. It was a scheme that Todd set up and they plotted this together. And I personally think that they knew they were both getting on the show and that's that's what happened. I don't think they played it smart cuz I never would have I would have acted like I didn't know him. They don't play it smart. They did not play it smart, but they knew. But anyway, so did Lydia apologize to Aaliyah? I don't know that he that she I don't remember if she apologized, but I will say this. Milton stepped in. I love the what what he said to um to, to Aaliyah, I don't agree with him because he was just like, you know, Lydia is a better person than me. I, you know, she's amazing. I, da, 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 all these things that, of course, your husband should say, but I love the way he said it. He was so respectful. And then, you know what he also said? He was like, look, I'm going to be honest. I think Uche's obsessed with my relationship with Lydia. And I agree. He was like, he still texts me to this day. I don't respond to him. You know, and then we saw like that last blow up where that was some bitch assness from um from UJ. Cause UJ was like, you know, when you you trying to take somebody down, he was trying to take Lydia down, he was trying to show him all the text messages, all this. I feel like that's something that a woman would do. Like, what are you doing, UJ? And so he just brought up that stuff and he was like basically UJ is the one that's trash. And then we found out, like, Izzy chimed in. was like, I, I don't really fool with Uche because Uche started talking about me. And um, we find out the cast doesn't really like him. 
I'm not surprised. UJ is not a likable person. I did not like him in the pods. Um, he's way too serious. That's number one. I could never date him because I'm I'm a whole fool. I like to laugh, have fun, be silly. You know what I mean? Obviously, when it's appropriate. But I'm like, he's too serious. Like, loosen up, dude. You're you're just I can't. So I'm I'm surprised. Like, um, um, Aaliyah even liked him i guess you know he's an attorney but where i live attorneys are a dime a dozen everybody's an attorney where i live so that's not even impressive to me um but you know he's good looking tall chocolate you know what is it not to like Aliyah also revealed that she didn't believe that uche was attracted to her i'm gonna say this i don't care what nobody says he probably doesn't like her because she's dark skin which is Hilarious because Uche is also dark skinned. Um, it's probably some colorism in there. I know the type. I mean, you know, the, a lot of a lot of black men are like that. Some dark skinned men don't want to date. You know, they want a light skinned woman, whatever, and whatever. That's your preference. Um, but the same way that Lydia is beautiful, Aaliyah is beautiful too, and Aaliyah's spirit is beautiful. Like she's fire. That's the type of, no, I, I don't, I don't like women, but I'm just saying if I did, that would be the one that's a woman with integrity. She's smart. She can talk, you know, she speaks well. Um, you know, she's a nurse. She seems nurturing, loving, and you know, she's kind, like that's the type of woman that I would be attracted to. And she's beautiful, but I, I bet you that's why he's not attracted to her because when she said it, she's not as tight. Cause what's not to like about Aaliyah? Aaliyah's fine. Like, what you don't like about her? So, that's my thought. You guys let me know what you guys think. That's personally what I think. So, when she said he's not attracted to me, I think that that is what she's referring to. She probably just didn't want to say it. But, Aaliyah, I'm going to say it for you. Because that's that's what I see. Um. So, so yeah, we again, we find out that, that you know... Um, the cast doesn't see it for Uche. Are we surprised? No. Uche is just... I'm not going to call him a narcissist because I, I don't know. I'm not going to say that. Is he something like a narcissist? Probably. <laughs> like, you know. But again, he's just, you know, beyond the fact that he's carried himself like trash. Um, besides that, he's just too serious for me. I wouldn't... I, I, Unless there's something that I'm missing, he's not my cup of tea. So moving on. Then we have Taylor. What is the guy? I forget the guy's name that she matched with Taylor with. First of all, let me tell you something. Taylor is fine. She has beautiful full lips. She's just gorgeous. Taylor, you're gorgeous. I don't know what dude is talking about. He would never find another woman as fine as you in his life. He ain't got no lips. Them little thin, goofy lips. You know, gaps can be cute, so I'm not going to rag on his gap. But he, Taylor, you dodged a bullet too. I will say this. You know, I'm, my apologies, y'all, because I don't remember his name. Because he's not memorable. Um, that interaction y'all had in Mexico is probably the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen on TV. This man would not talk to her. He barely would look at her. Um, his reasoning behind it. You know, I... I so he explained, he said he was uncomfortable with the cameras, which I guess I get that. But you said that, <laughs> you said that you felt weird because she had makeup on and you don't like the makeup. And so that made you like lose interest in her. What? Everybody has makeup on when they... You better believe I'm going to be suited and booted and fine as hell. I'm going to be done up in every way. Lashes, lip gloss popping. When I first meet you, what? You thought she was just going to come out bare face? Like you're delusional. And then she went bare face the whole time in Mexico. And she was still cute. I don't even, I don't understand that. Taylor, you did the right thing. He is weird. Uh, allegedly he has someone else he said I don't believe it because who I wouldn't date him he's a weirdo um I don't see it for him um trash personality trash and then he that whole American flag thing get out of here I, I I'm not doing this <laughs> like Taylor you 
And Taylor, you are gorgeous. You had that beautiful yellow. Yellow looks good on everybody. Black people, white people, you know, olive skin. You look fine. You were beautiful. I love the full features. You got like black girl features, girl. The big full lips, nose, all. You just look beautiful. So don't let him make you feel like you can't be beautiful with your makeup, without your makeup. Don't let this man make you feel like that. You are fine as hell and you dodged that one. So, yeah, y'all. I mean, and then, you know, Love is, Love is Blind is so weird because there was tons of other people. We didn't really meet any of them. Um, and allegedly, there's some scandal going on with, like, some harassment or whatever weird stuff is going on behind the scenes. So, that's really all we got from the reunion. Um, I'm glad UJ didn't show up. However... I think that if he had it, it would have made the reunion a little more spicy. So it would have, it would have been nice, but he, I guess maybe he wants nothing to do with the show, which they don't want nothing to do with him either. So good riddance, UJ. And Aaliyah, I hope you are a beautiful woman. I hope that you say you're dating someone who's treating you like a queen. I hope that's true. And um, I hope that you have success and love because you deserve it. So don't let... Uche or anyone else make you feel like you don't. So yes, y'all, that is it. This season was a roller coaster, child. Um, yeah, that's that's it, you guys. So let me know what you guys thought about the reunion. Again, um, they had some some fillers in there, and I that you know there was some stuff that I didn't care to hear about or whatever but you know the reunion was okay um and you know I, again i think if uj was there it would have been a little more exciting but whatever we don't care so um you guys drop down in my comments let me know what you guys thought about the reunion did you like it did you not and as always please like subscribe and share and i'll talk to y'all soon bye bye